do you have any any news on what might be going on in, in January? Um, are we any closer with CAS coming to a decision? Do you think you, you might be able to bring players in? And if you do, is there a danger that it changes the whole dynamic? I don't know, is the answer. I don't know if we can. That's not completely in my hands, so I wouldn't want to speculate on whether we can or can't. In a minute, we can't. Um, so I'm just concentrating on what's ahead of us in terms of the squad that we've got now. At a club like Chelsea, we'll always, we'll always be looking, can we improve the squad if there's potential of bringing players in? But at the, at the moment, I don't know the answer. John. Guys, Augs here from the US. I hope you had a very good weekend because I did. What a week to be a Chelsea fan. The men team, the ladies, the academy, all won games. So I can't really complain about anything. It's a good time to be a Chelsea fan. Meanwhile, Arsenal dropping point is a bonus. What a way to finish a week watching Arsenal fan TV melting down. Awesome. Now we are going to talk about transfer because it seems like our transfer ban will be lifted next January and we might be able to buy some players. And as you heard, Frank Lampard say that a club like Chelsea should always be on the market to try to strengthen the team. So it doesn't come from me, but it's from Frank Lampard. And in the last uh, couple of weeks or so, we've been linked with so many players. Raslan Malinovski from Atalanta. Guimaraes Bruno from Brazil. The latest name in the list is Milenkovic Savic from Lazio in Italy. The question is, why are we being linked with so many midfielders while we have many of them quality players at Chelsea Football Club at the moment? And what is so special about Milenkovic Savic that the club uh, is prepared to pay more than 100 million to get him? He's been on the market for more than three seasons now. He's been linked with any kind of club in the world. And it never happened. So you ask yourself why he never had the move. And why now? Because last season he was awful. Two seasons ago, he was one of the best in his position. Where he will be playing at Chelsea Football Club, we have Manson Mount, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Engolo Kante, Billy Gilmore, Cover and even Ampadu and many youngsters from the academy all can play in the midfield. Why would you buy somebody else to stop our own kids' development and spend that kind of money? And then thinking outside the box, as I always do. I came to the conclusion that we still need a midfielder because we can't only rely on our youngsters or some poor quality we have at the team at the moment like Ross Barkley. I guess that Ross Barkley will be sold next summer. Ngolo Kante is having a lot of injuries but also Ruben Loftus-Cheek is having a lot of injuries at the moment and even from when he was 16 he had to manage some back problems so the injury he has at the moment has nothing to do with his uh, chronic back pain that he needs to manage his entire life and that is going to be a big obstacle even if he's healed with uh, the Achilles injury that he has at the moment, he needs to manage daily, weekly, his back. So 
we are not going to see Ruben week in and week out because he doesn't train normally like other players. He can train maybe once a week. He can train maybe 30 minutes only. And the rest of the session is about working with the physio to try to manage his back pain. You know, I think I had some difficult times with injuries over the last couple of years. Um, even this season, getting injured a lot. But I think I've known how to to deal with that now uh, mentally, and to to stay sharp, sharp as I can when I when I've been injured. Because when I've when I. Ruben, you talk about injuries. Last week in Germany, the manager was suggesting you might have to carry this back injury for the rest of your career. Can you give us some detail on what the problem is and whether that might be the case? And you also mentioned they tape your training specifically. I wonder if you give us some details on that, please. What you, what you do and what you don't do. So, yeah, I've had, you know, back injuries, back lower back spasms since 16, 17, um, up till now. So, uh, something that I've had all, you know, for the latter part of my career. Um, and it's something that I've had to deal with and manage with the physios as, as much as I can. And it has hindered me a lot. Um, but over the years, learning about my body, I think with, with the physios, we've we've come up with a routine and you know to keep it at bay and I think it's and, and how do you take your training? Is there something you, you don't do or something you do do? It's um obviously playing the most games I've played um this season and playing every three days uh, is something that I've never done. So it's important that you know I get the right rest. Um so so my back is okay basically. So, you know, I might not do a whole training session if, you know, two days after I might, you know, do half of it or, you know, so I, I taper it that way. Yep, you heard it from Ruben Loftus Chick himself. Nothing really to add here. It's up to you to think outside the box and make your own conclusion because I did my homework. I don't report on gossip going on on social media i do a lot of research and try to bring you the best information i can so after being opposed to any kind of signature in the midfield i came to the conclusion that we need to sign somebody and that is coming from me who always advocate and promote youth but we are Chelsea and we need quality. You don't have to uh, make a team only with the youngsters or with uh, friends from the academy because they, are, they will get very comfortable between each other and at some point they won't really push each other as usual. You know, I love Gallagher. You know, Conor Gallagher is killing it in the championship. I love uh, B Billy Gilmore, I love Ampadu, I love all our youngsters, even Tino Angerin. I would like to see him promoted, but he's still 17. Many of them still from 17 to 19. So they still have few years to go. They don't have to rush anything. We need top class. So if uh, Milokovic Savic is a top world class, and our scouting department did their homework and they decided to get him i would be okay with that i don't have any problem because that's what a big team is supposed to do i'm already happy with the development of the youngsters and the team frank lampard is putting together but i'm not opposed to bringing some uh, uh world-class players in the team to keep our youngster uh, on their toes and to create some competition in each department so we can try to win uh, some trophies there we go guys i did my homework now it's up to you to leave uh, a comment and let us know what you know about the guy if he worth the money or if we even 
need him at Chelsea Football Club. I watched a lot of videos, but it's just YouTube videos, guys. And you know anybody can look like Messi or Ronaldo on YouTube. So let us know. Stay cool. Don't insult anybody. Be cool like N'Golo Kante. And always think outside the box.